Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I am Penj and welcome back to Academia School Simulator and we are back with day two of year one of Covered College. And last time out, it went okay. There were no major disasters of any kind. There was no fighting, there wasn't an earthquake, there were no fires started or floods or whatever else. So uh, we got this built. It was completely empty field and then we've constructed this and this is Covered College as it stands right now and it's a fully functioning school. It's not the most advanced of schools, I'll be honest, but it's doing the job. So we've got two classrooms here and another two here. They're covering the major year groups. And then we've got the toilets up here, principal's office, accountant's office, and then a spare office for when we actually get someone to go in there. I think we were going to put the vice principal in there, but then I think the vice principal is going to be very expensive in terms of a daily rate. And I don't think they're going to bring that much to the school as it is right now, because it's not very big. And that's it. We've had one day and I think the students might have learned something or other. I'm not entirely sure what they might have learned, but they've learned some stuff, hopefully. So, yeah, we've got this and it's functioning OK. However, there are a few things that we need to look at. There's several things I want to address. And number one is something that we can do right now. And I was entirely unaware of this. And I don't know if this is a thing that's been added to academia recently or if it's always been in the game. And I just did not know. But if we go to reports um, last time out, there was a mission sort of a to-do list thing that said, oh, mark a room as a detention room. So I went, yeah, okay, click, 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 click. I'll just put all four as detention rooms because why the heck not? Apparently, people in the comments have said, it's not just one person, multiple people have said, when you set a room as a detention room, it costs you 300 money. So at the end of the day, you pay 300 money for that room to be a detention room. So I guess what you're doing is you're paying for the teacher's time to go and sit in that room and cover detention, I'm assuming. So I think this is a terrible idea then, but I was unaware of that. I was unaware that the rooms actually cost money. So what we're gonna do is, we'll just say classroom one can be the detention room, and that's it. We'll take these other three off. So there is one detention room. Hopefully we will not have more than 16 children in detention. If we do, that might point to slightly bigger problems in the school. So we'll try and sort them out. So um, yeah, I didn't know that cost money. So because the day has rolled round, it's likely that we wasted, what, 900 monies on having these empty detention rooms. And, you know, that one probably didn't get used either because I hope that everybody was very well behaved. So there we go. I didn't know that. So thank you commenting people for pointing that out because I was entirely oblivious that there was a cost to detention rooms. And, um, yeah, has that always been there? Has that always been the case? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, another thing that I want to get us to look at today is, uh, is the food provision of Cupboard College because at the moment... Food is provided by these four vending machines here. And whilst that's lovely and, you know, fun, because you know, it's nice to go and get yourself something lovely from the vending machine, it's not the most sort of nutritious thing, is it? So, you know, chocolate and crisps and snacks and things, it's not going to be very good for the kids. And it's going to affect their learning in the long run. So we need to get some proper sort of food provisioning in. We need a cafeteria with the cooks and the kitchen and all the nice food coming in. So we need to get that sorted as well. So that's on the agenda for today as well. But the big thing, that we're going to look at first, because I think it needs doing, is um is we need to put in some floors. And this often happens with um, with schools in the Geek Cupboard when we play Academia, is that the flooring is often overlooked. Um, and this time, we have no flooring, except just here. We've got a little bit of flooring coming in from the road, and a tiny bit here in the delivery area, and a concrete area. But other than that, there are no floors. And um and yeah, it's not very good, is it? So this school where we've got, you know, desks and tables and toilets and things is just on mud. It's on mud and dirt. And it's a bit of a problem for our cleaners. And quite rightly, um, last time out, I was looking, going, well, why aren't the cleaners cleaning? Come on, cleaners, hurry up and clean. And um, quite a few people in the comments have said, well, they can't clean. How can they clean anything up? So this here, for example, is a patch of mud upon which there are muddy footprints and presumably various big blobs of mud and whatever that have been traipsed in from somewhere else. How can the cleaners clean mud off of mud? And uh, yeah, it's a very, very valid good point. So I think we need to get some flooring in. We need that kind of urgently because the kids are going to come in and they're going to get all grubby and dirty and horrible. And that's going to affect their mood because I wouldn't like it if I had to go and do... <laughs> A day of learning was covered in mud. <laughs> that would make me not the most receptive to learning things. So let's have a look in here. Now, I know that there are, if we zoom out a little bit, there's something to do with like, yeah, fancy floors. Do you want to get school design and fancy floors? Because that unlocks carpets and things like that. That could be quite useful because at the moment, what flooring options do we have? So let's look at floors. We've got concrete tiles, bathroom tiles and kitchen tiles. 
And then we have ourselves, and we've got some wooden floors. That's okay. I'm not so bothered about the wooden floors, but I would like the proper carpets and things. I think the school needs carpets and stuff like that. However, bathroom tiles, we can put them in right now. And let's zone those out as bathroom tiles. So bop, bop, they can be in the doorway as well. Um, and then these rooms here, the principal's office and that lot, do we want those to be sort of wooden panelled floors? So they can make imposing, yeah, while they're pacing around telling off the kids, they can sort of make very loud, kind of impressive footstep sounds on the wooden floor. I think so. Let's go for this wooden floor here. So these rooms can have the nice wooden flooring in. Oh, the flooring is so expensive. <laughs> I'd forgotten how expensive the flooring was in academia. It's very costly. It's very, very expensive. Okay, but there we go. That's that done. So move time on. Now, do we actually bother? Oh, I do want the carpets in the hallways though. I don't think we need to put like the other fancy flooring. And I just think we need some very basic flooring. But look, that's good though. Because when they put the flooring down, they're obviously putting it on top of the mud. So at least some of the dirt is being dealt with by virtue of just covering it up. It's the equivalent of like sweeping stuff under your bed when you're asked to tidy up and you just sort of push it under the bed, out of sight, out of mind. It's great. There we go. So let's have a little look. Now, why are we suddenly getting 792 monies a day? We were losing a bit of money a day. Why are we now gaining money a day? What's happened there? Why is our, either their income has gone up, our expenses have gone down, and I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, that's fine, that's good, our expenses have come down. Um, let's do this research then, let's do school design. So that unlocks coloured walls, fences, and the fence door, and then we'll get fancy floors. So let's get that first, three hours, that's absolutely fine. So the kids are still going to have to come in in a <laughs> very muddy school. Apologies, kids, I'm very sorry. Oh, a few people um said that maybe uh, the the cleaner guys, the janitors, were looking a little bit confused about the um the trash bins because they were sort of, you know, maybe the trash bins are the wrong way round, I think a few people said, but I think they're the right way round. That's the way round I would expect a trash bin to be with the sort of the high up bit at the back and the low bit there. And then you put your rubbish in and that's like a lid. I think they're the right way around. I'm fairly sure they are, unless I'm very much mistaken. I do not know, but I think they're okay. Um, okay, right, so all that's going over quite nicely. What is our current, um, ooh, ooh, random event. This is the first one of these we've had. Oh, so you can ignore the random events, but you don't know whether it's going to be good or bad. It could be a good random event. Maybe someone's going to come along and just deposit a great big pile of money in the principal's office. But if you ignore it, it does cost you five prestige. Let's accept it. We've not had one of these before. Let's see what malarkeys we can get with a random event. There is a nationwide competition to find the best language teacher. Enter an average language teacher is a thousand to have a go, but we might win three grand. But there is only a 25% chance of doing so. Enter a good language teacher, which we apparently do have because it's an option that we can choose. 50% chance of winning to get us three grand. And uh, yeah, we can't do this. We don't have anybody. What's that? Must have a teacher with language knowledge that's greater than or equal to 75. I think our ones might be a little way off that. I think we've got not the finest teachers. We've not got terrible teachers, but they're not the best either. So do you know what? 1,000, 50-50 chance to win 3,000. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's just have a little go. This is our first random event. This is exciting. So can we provide the best language teacher? Let's have a go. And it is resolving. And sadly, the teacher did not get the award. There we go. It was a 50-50 shot. 50-50 shot. We didn't come out on top that time. But never mind. Do you know what? It was worth a go. And yeah, that's the first random event that we've seen. That's quite exciting. So that one was... Yeah, it didn't really impact. It just cost us a bit of money. And we could have won quite a nice amount of money. But there we go. Never mind. Um, yeah, so what was our current goal? What have we got to do? Build a common area, of course. Okay, so what does that give us? Two grand on completion. So we've got two grand advance already, and then the two grand completion bonus. Where should we put the common area? Maybe it could open out here. So the toilets are sort of here, and we could have the common area sort of here. Maybe at the end there, like that. I like that idea. Oh, somebody else has said we haven't got any windows. I completely agree. Do you know what, actually? Let's have a look. Um, hang on, where are windows in this all? Are they in this bit? I can't remember. Do we even have access to windows? No, they're not there. Are they an object? Wind. Windows, there we go. Big windows, 150 or 50. Let's have some big windows, shall we? So, um, yeah, I feel like we should put some windows in. Let's put a window there at the end of that corridor bit. 
and a window here and a window there. I quite like that for the minute. Oh, this is going to be outside as well. Let's put a couple of windows here on this classroom. So what's that? It's away from the edge. Oh, I don't know, just there will do. Because that classroom is facing the outside. Oh, no, it's not. Hang on. No, pause. It's not facing the outside. It's going to be in a corridor. There's going to be a corridor there. No, uh, abandon. Get rid. Get rid. Don't, don't put windows in. Cancel those. There's going to be a corridor going along here. So yeah, we don't want windows there because that's going to be windows looking out into the corridor, <laughs> which is a bit pointless. So yeah, let's not do that. Um, okay, right. So we've got some windows in. I'll try and remember to put more windows in because I do like the idea of having some nice windows. Um, can we put a little one in there? Just between them? So three between them? Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. And then maybe some windows on that bit and that bit as well. Hang on a minute. Which way does it go? That way. Just, you know, for a bit of light, just to make it look a bit light and nice and sort of fresh and airy and that kind of stuff. Okay, good. So we've got some windows. Right, let's try and get our common area in. Now I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we just have it going up here like this. Just have it sort of in this area here. And we have a big common area so the corridor can just come up and then the common area can just sort of spill out down the corridor a bit. I think that sounds like a good idea. Because I don't want it... The previous schools were built, and I mentioned this last time, um, were, were quite formulaic. They were quite sort of symmetrical, and I always made sure that, you know, if there was corridors going that way, there was a corridor going that way. And, you know, they were sort of fairly regimented, and they were sort of fairly, yeah, symmetrical. I want this to be a bit more sort of organic and a bit more... We'll add a bit on there. Okay, we'll have a bit of outside. We'll put a building over here for, you know, the science rooms or whatever. So, yeah, I think this is quite a good idea. So let's get a brick wall going up to there, say. Bring that across... Yeah, that's quite a good size common area. I like that for a common area. Right, demolish that and that. Lovely. So get rid of those and then bring those in like that. So destroy those, put the walls in. That can be a common area. We are going to have to put floors in this area, which might be expensive. In fact, do we want to put walls? Maybe we have the common area here and have that as a room of some description. Maybe like a staff room or something. Or, or the um, the hospital or whatever. Because, yeah, that is actually quite a big space for lots of people. Uh, for not many people, sorry. We've not got that many students. Ah, something else that somebody has pointed out in the comments, and it was a very good point, was that um, the schedule is the same for everybody. So um, the toilets, we did notice last time that people were going outside and using the uh, the local <laughs> the local greenery as a, as a means of a toilet, which is weird because there are toilets just here but um somebody did very accurately point out that in the schedule um all the four year levels have their recess and their lunch at the same time which means that they're all going to be using the toilets at the same time which might make things quite busy so i think let's try and sort these out so freshmen they can have their their recess early and then their lunch at 12. sophomores can have their their lunch at 10 and that at one juniors can have break there and then at two and the seniors might have to have a bit of a what's that going to be like so the freshmen have got nine sophomores have got 10 juniors have got 11 i mean can, can the seniors have a recess at, at 12 <laughs> that seems a little bit silly doesn't it that seems a little bit silly and then a lunch so they have recess and they don't do anything for a bit and then they don't do anything again but that's fine. But then, yeah, we can't push their lunch to three o'clock because that's just <laughs> that's just very silly. Unless, what's the earliest lunch? Twelve. Unless we say, hang on, can they have an afternoon recess? Can we swap that round? So if they have lunch at 11, they have an early lunch. Oh, the freshmen are more likely to want an early lunch, aren't they? Because they're kids. Because they're younger and they're going to be hungry. I don't know. Do you know what? As long as they're all separate, it's fine. So if they have three lessons, lunch at 11, which is good. So that coincides with the recess of the juniors. So the seniors have their lunch and then maybe they have a recess at two. They have a little gap at two whilst the, is that the juniors again. Well, the juniors are out. OK, yeah, having their lunch, the seniors have a break. In fact, let's push that back. There we go. That might work, and that might reduce the demand on the loos. That might reduce the demand on the toilets a little bit. So hopefully we might see less people running out to use the bushes. Okay, now I've got a little space up here. Let us clear all of the uh, all of the shrubbery. So come on, build the folks. Get rid of that. There we go. Aha! Fancy floor research is available. Hang on, hang on. First things first, 
Let's zone out our um, uh, is it a special room, a common area. Yes, we'll just put it there for now. Do you know what? You can go to the end of. Let's put it there for now, like that. What do we need? A table and some chairs. I can absolutely cope with that. So common area. Let's get ourselves. And our hand sanitizer is also important, particularly at the minute, particularly with the world as it is at the minute. Hand sanitizer is very important. Uh, let's put um, a bit there. I always have one of those just there and one in the common area just to make sure that people are washing their hands. Is that the right way? Yeah, there like that. And then tables and chairs. Um, let's have them that way. So we'll have tables, maybe a bit like that. And then some across this wall. So we'll do that for now because we don't want too many because it's it's costing monies. So we'll have four chairs. We'll have two chairs. We'll have a bit like that. And we'll have a bit like that. Lovely. Right. They can get on with that. And that means the common area should be complete, which means we get some money, which is very exciting. Right. Lots of other grants are done. Now, do we have any really simple grants that we can do, which are like um, do a, you know, do some routing for a cleaner or something like that? Lawyering, no. Nutritional needs, we do need to do. But that will be expensive. You get 10 grand for it, though. You get a big pile of money to help you build a cafeteria. Um, that is the vice principal. Don't think we need that. That's the nurse thing. I mean, we could put that in. Disciplinary efficiency. Research monitor routing. Ah, create two monitor routes and assign one monitor to each route. We could do that. What's linking up? Zone links. Oh, this is a new thing. This is a new thing they've added. Yeah, we'll have to look at that at some point, but it requires a cafeteria at the moment. So, um, so yeah, we'll, get the, we'll have a look at that when the cafeteria is in. And then um, a playing field. How much is it to get monitor routing? Whereabouts is that? Um, oh, crikey, where is monitor routing? It shouldn't be too difficult to find, I would have thought. Ah, it's just there. So it's one and a half grand. So 1,500 monies. And that gives us 2,000 if we complete it. So we don't really get much from it. Plus, we have to hire a monitor. And how much is a monitor to hire? They are... 1800 tires so actually by doing that we're going to lose money that's that's probably bad that's probably a bad thing although it does give us a nice bit of prestige but we need the floors we need the floors to go in really really soon because this place this is a horrible muddy quagmire of a school at the minute and i don't really like that um i mean we could do this seven grand that gets us 13 grand that would get us how much is health is wealth? Let's have a look at where that might be in here. Can we find health is wealth? Is it somewhere obvious? There, there's health is wealth. That's only two grand. That's only 2,000 of your monies. We could get that underway. Ah, but do we want to get fancy floors? Let's get both of these. First things first, health is wealth. Let's do that. Let's grab health is wealth. So that will be done. We will then gladly take the $7,000 advance on school health. And this is where our guy is good, because our principal, uh, where is he? There he is. He is the doctor. He's answering a phone call. I don't know where his part of the TARD is. It's around here somewhere. So, um, so yeah, there he is, like D. Hauser. So um, the janitors are cheaper, which is good, although they're struggling to do their job at the minute. But the nurses are also cheaper, which is a good thing. So it's re requiring us to hire two nurses. So let's have a look. I mean, do we put the the sort of uh, the thing here, the clinic, just here? Because we know from past experience that the clinics get used quite a lot in academia. Um, so we could put some beds there, some beds there, and then have a gap of two in the middle. So like a space of two where we could put some stuff in the corners. I think that would be quite a good space for a clinic. You get quite a lot of beds and stuff in there. So let's make that a clinic. Let's get our clinic in there. Oh, we've got all the fancy walls. We've got lots of lovely walls. Okay, right. So that down there. And then in terms of doors, can we have double doors going into the clinic? That's all sorts of dramatic, isn't it? Um, Yeah, we'll have it like that. Okay, right. Get that done. So they will rush in and get that done very, very quickly. Uh, we haven't got health as wealth done yet. So we need to sit around and wait. Now that does take quite a long time. That takes quite a while, and all the time, the, the mud <laughs> the mud is building up. Okay. Uh, oh, we still haven't got the carpets, so we can't do anything right now. We just have to sit and wait. We can't build the clinic. We can't put the carpets in. Um, it is, however, snack time. <gasps> a student is confessing their love. Is it going to work? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> Jack Pottage. Someone has broke Jack's heart. That is not good. Oh, he's heartbroken, is Jack. 
Oh, Jack, I feel for you. I feel for you. Um, he's well fed. He does need to go to the loot, and he can't hold it. Um, okay. Uh, unlock expel. Oh, that's the expel button up there, is it? Ah, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, he's, he can't, still hasn't been to the loo. Jack, where are you? How do we find Jack again now? Jack, where have you gone? I can't click on him. Oh, no, he's, is he still here? Is he still <laughs> he, He's still crying. He's still bawling his eyes out. Oh, Jack, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible time. But also, you do need to go to the toilet quite a lot, Jack. Priorities. Priorities, my good sir. Come on, then. O off to the toilet with you. And, and not the tree or any of the bushes. Actually use the toilets, please. That would be ideal. Um, no, he's just sat at the front of the class. Desperate. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Oh, hang on. What? What, what, what? Oh, my goodness me. Is this why people... Is this why they're using the, um, the outside? Because there's quite a lot of people in there needing the toilet all of a sudden. Oh, my word. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, <laughs> we need to put some more toilet facilities in. Wow. Okay. Maybe we need bigger toilets. Um, I mean, could we combine... Could we combine that into one toilet and have them sort of back to back and have that as a toilet? How big would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be... That would be big. That would be a big toilet. There's a wall of toilets along there. And then cubicles sort of facing this way. And then backing onto them cubicles like that. Hang on, hang on. Where would they be? Hang on. B blueprinting tool. Save me. So there would be there would be a wall, say, there. And a wall there. And then object outlines. We'll just grab any old object. That's got dots in. So we could have a row of things like that. Then a row of cubicles facing downwards. Then a row of cubicles facing upwards. And then a row of cubicles... Facing downwards, and there's a gap at the back. That's no good. We have to move the wall down a bit. We could do that. We could make that work. And then, if we make it big enough, we could have a row of sinks along the back. So we could then say, uh, say like that. If that's a wall, do that, do that. And then have sinks along the back. So that would have a lot of capacity. And uh, oh no, hang on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Because that wouldn't be like that. There would be a wall just there. And then clear that bit at the top. There we go. So that's what the loo would look like. The new look revised toilet of, of Cupboard College. I think that would probably work. We can't do anything about it right now. But maybe that should become another toilet. And we build another bit. We build something else for our, um, our, our uh, clinic. Because, yeah, I think we need more toilets. Because that... That is a very busy toileting area. My goodness me. The cleaners are going to have their work cut out for them there. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Change that into a toilet. And I think that's about the right size. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that room is the right size. Unfortunately, this room is not. So we're going to have to fiddle about with walls and things. But that's okay. That's okay. We can do that. We can muck about with things. Um, okay. Oh, no. What? Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, no, you've not been. You've not been yet. You're going to urinate. You're picking You're picking a lovely, lovely, lovely spot. There you go, in the fresh air. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> it's good to go with a friend. <laughs> Do you not want some privacy? I mean, maybe these are massive, massive shrubs and, and Alfonso Perkis cannot see uh, a, ra a rassily, a racily wife there also having a little bit of a whittle out in the woods there. <laughs> I thought, I mean, look, look at the amount of of greenery you've got to choose from. You've got all of these things. Why have, you, why have you chosen the same one? It's a little bit suspicious there. I think that's something weird going on. Um, Okay, we can't do anything about it right now. That's something that we just can't deal with. But we are going to need very much bigger toilets because that just does not meet the capacity. Now we've seen it. Now we have noticed it. We're going to need to rejig all of the loos. Which is fine. We can do that. We can sort of do that. Um, so then we need to figure out where we would like to build our um, our lovely uh, clinic. Where do we want to build the clinic? Don't know. Where should that go? I mean, we are going to have a corridor bit coming along here. I was thinking of putting some more classrooms along this side, though. Just get another pairing of one of the four sort of classrooms up this side. So bang, 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 bang. They can be classrooms on that side. And they could go into this common area. I mean, there's a gap here. We could, we could put the clinic here, bring that corridor round. Then it could come up here, say, and we could have some things in here. 
and then that could be a sort of little completed block, possibly. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's do that. Why the heck not? Well, right, walls, brick walls. Um, this way, please. Um, so yeah, span that. That can be a corridor going up sort of this way. Because I do love a corridor. I'm a, I'm a fan of a corridor. Right, so do that. And then the clinic could go in here. So the beds, again, blueprinting tool, save me. Um, the beds are two sort of uh, two squares long, aren't they? So let's say if we did that for beds. So like that. And then we could have... Um, I mean, yeah, do we want to have beds? I mean, how many do we need? That'll only fit eight beds, unless we make it a very big clinic, which I think might be a good idea, because, yes, as we've seen, we, we the clinics do fill up. Um, hang on, hang on. Right, get rid of that. Put them against the wall. So that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. And then we could just put more beds like that, and then another set of beds like that, and then they could have all their other bits and bobs across that wall, and then have an actual wall outline just there. I think that's what we might do with the clinic. If we have enough money. If we're not entirely broke by the time we get around to doing this. But okay, do you know what? Let's clear that for now. That gets us some money back. That saves us two grand. It's so expensive to build things. Right, and then a brick wall goes across like that. And then we'll get the door. So we'll get the double door, because I like the idea of having a double door. And um, we'll put that there. Okay, right. Get that. Oh, hang on. No, and um, and demolish that bit, please. Okay, right. Get all that in. That would be splendid. If you can start working on this little builder, chaps, that would be excellent. And um, people pointed out last time that nobody's um, none of the builder people have locked themselves in yet, which you know is unfortunate because that's always funny. But no, they seem to be they seem to be able to do their jobs relatively well now. <laughs> Maybe all the builders have been to. Oh no. Oh, Alfonso Perkis dropped out because they weren't able to eat food. I think he dropped out out of shame because he got caught <laughs> watching someone in the in the lose. But yeah, okay, that is something that we need to deal with. And the more people that drop out, we will struggle here. Right, students are unhappy. What is going on? I was unable to get food to people. There is never enough food. One person. There is enough food and space to eat. 57 people. I think we're fine. I don't think we need to worry too much about that right now. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, let's get this in. Let's see if we can get the uh, the clinic in. Now, I think we've done, we've researched health is wealth. Right. Get fancy floors. I know we've, it's a bit of money, but it's fine. And then let us zone out the, uh, the would it be services, maybe? Yes, a clinic. Okay, so zone out the clinic. Lovely. And we'll just get the basics in, just to get the payoff for the clinic. Thank you very much. So... Go up to clinic and uh, yeah, clinic beds. So I think we want to leave a gap. We do want to leave a gap between them. I suppose we could just pack them in. We could just pack them in, but how are they going to get in and out? No, it's fine. I don't. I don't like the idea of just sort of packing them in. So if we do it like this, can we fit more in if we do it the way round? I think it'd be more or less the same, wouldn't it? Uh, I like the idea of it being like that anyway. If we did do it the way round, hang on, hang on. Blueprinting tool, save me again. Clear those. What if we did it this way? So we could have one bed there, one bed there, one bed there. That would be three. That would be six. Then we could have, what's that? That would be, I don't know, but they get in the way of the door. So we wouldn't have any just there. So there'd be none just there. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, thinking aloud. So it'd be like that. And then we'd have a bit there, and a bit there, and a bit there. And then they were, oh yeah, it doesn't work that way. It, oh no, I don't like that. And I think you fit the same amount in anyway. So no, it's fine. Let's go and do what we were going to do. So let's put them in this way. So we'll have, how much of the beds? 200 each. So one, two, three, and four. Um, the medicine cabinets, they can go at the top. Let's put a couple of those in just in case. Uh, and then chairs. Does it need an amount of chairs? Does it need a chair? I think that's where they go and wait, isn't it? So let's put three chairs in right now, and then we will get them to remove the vegetation, because that would be nice. And then also, because that's now made it look all sorts of scruffy, let's do that. That looks nicer. There we go. Right. Get the clinic in. Give us the money for the clinic, please. <laughs> Can we be paid? And 
Uh, oh no! Oh no! We need to hire the we need to hire the nurses. Hire two nurses. Oh, they're quite expensive, aren't they? How much is a nurse to hire? Oh, they're quite costly. One thousand six hundred and eighty-eight. Okay, fine. We're gonna do it. One and two. Okay, right there we go. <laughs> School health is completed. A path to cleanliness has been unlocked. Is that something which just gives us immediate money? Two janitor roots and assign one janitor to each route. It will give us two grand effectively for free. No. I know we've got janitor routing. We've researched it already. We've got janitor routing done because we were going to get the dumpsters in. Okay, this is good. So let's get that done. So yes. And uh, two janitor routes, one janitor to each route. Okay, janitor routing. Create a route. Uh, nicely, this hasn't really changed very much. This is the same, except we've got these, these links in here. Which is exciting. This is good. Oh, the zone links goes to the principal office. So it links various other bits and bobs together, but the principal's office isn't there. So I think the idea with the links is that what you can do is you can say, okay, right, here's a cafeteria. I want the cafeteria that we build, I don't know, just here, say, that can only be used by these kids in these rooms and the teachers and whatever. And then, yeah, if there's another cafeteria over here, we can link a number of classrooms over here to that cafeteria. So people don't have to traipse around, but we haven't unlocked that yet. That's fine. That's okay. Um, okay, let's start. What's their radius? I can't remember what a janitor's sort of radius of cleaning stuff up is. I can't remember. Is it is it four tiles or five tiles or something like that? I genuinely can't remember now. It's been a little while since I played Academia last. Okay, let's just... We'll just put them running around here. So the clinic is quite a big room. So we'll get them going to there. Go up to there. Pop out into the corridor. Come down here. I don't think they need to... Go. They might need to go into there for to clean the mud off the floor or whatever. So do that. And then go to... Pop down into there. And then go to... In fact, complete the route. Just there. Okay. One janitor assigned to that route. Now we'll add another route. So, okay. Yep. Create a new route. Um, let's get them dealing with the common area. Because that's going to be a mess. So go there, come up, go along, go down into... Maybe they can do the loose. They can have the unpleasant sort of job of cleaning the toilets. Oh, there, look. Oh, that's a very short radius, isn't it? They don't look very far to find things to clean. That's not good. Okay, right. So there we go. So that will do. And do you know what? Complete your route by coming out and going to there. That should give us that. That gives us some money. Okay, that's good. Right, fancy floors. Get researched, please. We need fancy floors. Ah, it is the end of the day. Okay, now we're going to... Well, no, not lose money. We're not gaining as much money as we have been. However, is it now time to rejig the lose? I think it might be. I think it might be time that we have to rejig all of this stuff. So, let's do this now. Let us see if we can do this really quickly because these objects are going to need to change. So, I think we get the money back. I think. If we go down to toilet there we go um how much is a toilet 400 for a toilet cubicle if we say dismantle that toilet cubicle and if anyone comes along builders where are you how much do we get oh that was really quick hang on hang on do that one do that one and are you done and bosh 400 yes we get it back so we're not losing money so dismantle all of those things please and also demolish this wall Take this wall down. This is a big job. Where are all, where are all the builders? They've all just cleared off home. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought they might have stuck around a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> now the only person in charge is Wufflesby Barkington III. I don't think there is anybody else left in the school. Have they left the dog in the school on his own? Oh, bless him. That's, that's a bit mean. He's just having a little sleep. <laughs> okay. I can't believe we just left the dog. The students are unhappy. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Toilets. Come on. We need to get this done. Where are the builder folks? We haven't got long until the kids come in. Okay. Fancy floors is done. Good. Right. Take the walls down. Take all the things down. Bash, 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 bash. And destroy those things. Okay, good. Right. Pause, 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 pause. Build. Uh, we want to get ourselves some walls. We want a brick wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We need a brick wall just there. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a brick wall just there, which isn't ideal. We'll sort that out later. It's going to look a bit weird for a while. And then, demolish that, which is good. Um, demolish that big set of double doors as well. well. Do we have double doors going into the loo? 
That might be quite impressive. Demolish that, demolish that. Leave leave the double doors. <laughs> double doors going into the toilet, because why not? Okay, so that's that done. The walls are down. And then we need to build upon them. So we need brick wall and brick wall. We also need door, double door, because, because it's fun. Uh, in the middle. Okay, so now that should be done. Then we want to get floors and bathroom tiles. And once they've put those walls in at the top, we can then get that sorted. So that there and that there, plus that gap. And once they've put that door in, that there. So that now needs to be... Oh, now we need to do this really quick. Do you know what? Uh, they've nearly done that as it is. Right, zones. So the male toilets and the female toilets are all over the place. So no and no. And then go to toilets and have... But now we've completed that thing, haven't we? We've completed this. We've done that. We've finished the thing here which said have a male toilet and a female toilet. Why don't we just have a neutral toilet? Why don't we just do that? Sink, toilet cubicle, indoors. And we just build that thing. Why don't we just do that and then save this room for something else? That might have been a massive waste of everyone's time. Do you know what? Let's do that. That can be a neutral toilet, which is fine. And then if we go here, we can copy that design that we've got there, which is nice. So we'll go one, two, three, four. This is going to be very expensive. Like, do we need to leave a gap for the sinks? Do we need to leave a gap for them to stand next to the sink? Because that's going to be a, a sink wall. That's going to be where you wash your hands. The toilet cubicle is going to have to go there like that. We'll just sort of try and outline it a bit. And then sort of like that. That's really expensive. It's very expensive. Like that for now. That might do for what we want. Okay, and then, do you know what? Yeah, stop. Don't, don't bother doing this. Cancel. Cancel. Belay, belay all those orders. Don't bother. Get a bit of money back as well, which is quite nice. So yeah, that should be okay, I think. I don't know if we do need to put a, leave a gap there for the sink or not. I don't know. Do you know what? It's fine. Get this in because this needs to be functioning by the time we get to break times or else we're going to have much in the way of, of, I don't know, bush mess to clean up. So we need to get that done. Right. It's a fully working toilet. It's in. There are many, many cubicles for people to use. So how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cubicles. There's only 15 people in each class. Hopefully that should suffice. Okay, lovely. Right. Now we might need to spend some money on floors <laughs> because it's it's looking a bit rubbish. Um, what kind of floors do we want to have in the corridor? Are they all the same? They're 20. They're 20. Is there anything that's cheap? Nothing is cheap. Um, okay. No, they're all 20s. They're all... Oh, grass is 10. <laughs> We've got that already. We don't need that. Um, let's have... Let's have some carpet. What do we want? Tiles. We don't want kitchen tiles. It'd be nice if there was a, a, a better array of tiles. That would be good. How about... And we used to have diagonal floors in the classrooms. I think maybe we'll have diagonal floor in the corridors and then in the classrooms have carpets. So let's have that. How much is that? That's 920 money to get that bit of corridor done. Ouch. Okay, that bit there. Oh, this is going to be extortionate. Oh, the money is ticking away. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> ah, crikeys. Okay, fine. Um, And then what floor do we have in the clinic? I kind of feel like we need bathroom tiles. I feel like we need tiles because otherwise it's going to be a bit grim, isn't it? Because people might be a bit sick in there. But then is that weird for a clinic? Would we have tiled floors? Also, I put the beds in the wrong way around. I thought it was the other way around. But no, that's where their head is. Oh, we'll sort that out later on. It's fine. Um, yeah, I don't think we can put carpet in there. Because if someone does, you know, bleh, up on the floor, then it's going to soak into the carpet and it's all grim. And I've dealt with that and it's very unpleasant. Um, so maybe we just get ourselves just, I mean, wood, wooden floor in a clinic. Is that good? Maybe the same wood as those. Yeah, do you know what? That'll do. Uh, do that. Put that into there. Okay, right. Builder guys, you've got quite a big job of putting in lots of floor. Also, we've not got much money left. So, so please hurry up because this might make the kids feel a bit better. Oh, hang on. We need to do the um, the hallway as well. So let's get that in as well because that's important. They're going to walk there. Um, okay, let's leave them to do that because there is plenty for them to be getting on with. 
to get some money back as well, let us dismantle this stuff because we don't need this right now and it's not going to be bathroom tiles. So let's just demolish all of that stuff. So when they're done with the carpet, uh, with the well, it's tiles, I suppose, when they're done with the flooring, we will dismantle this and just reclaim some of that money because, yeah, that's, that's some flooring there. That's the bathroom tiles. That's going to be, what, 500 monies maybe? Which is quite nice. I'll gladly take that. Where have they gone? What are they doing? Oh, they're working. Oh, they're doing the clinic. Okay, hang on. Hang on. What are the builders doing? What's going on here? What's your problem? Why are you having an issue? What is... Why are they having problems? I don't know what that is. They're getting a snack. Okay. From where? From where are you getting a snack? Are you going over to Frank Purple? Frank Purple. What a brilliant name. Oh, look, they've got little, little snacks in their hands. <laughs> oh, that's good. They've got little tiny... Whatever they are, like sort of, you know, cereal bar type things. Oh, that's fun. Um, Okay, right. Well, they've got those, but the floor is looking good. The floor is looking good. Okay, right. Now it's only, the, it's only the classrooms, you know, where the kids spend most of their time that we haven't got any floors. But the money is rolling in. Okay, good. Right. Money has come in. We have a clinic which can get better and bigger if we need it to, which is lovely. What can we get from up here now? So lawyering, I don't want to pay a lawyer every day because that's going to be expensive and I don't know what we need them for right now. Um, nutritional needs, I think it might have to be that. Principal support, vice principal, don't need them. That's monitor routing, create two monitor routes where we have to research that and get us 10 prestige but it's not really worth doing I don't think. Linking up, we haven't got the um, cafeterias in and a playing field requires lots of effort to get the playing field in. We might need to do this let's do nutritional needs now it does give us 10 grand in advance so it'll look nice up here we, we can't get too giddy with it but we'll press the button and boom look at the lovely monies wow that's so much cash um where can we put a cafeteria do you know what we can do we can clear that for now clear that out the way which is lovely so get rid of that maybe our cafeteria for this little block here because I imagine we're going to have several we're probably going to have a cafeteria here and maybe a smaller one up here and maybe one over here as well is what I'm picturing I'm picturing sort of three because previously we've had one gigantic central one but again I want to do things a bit differently maybe we'll have three so um can we could we fit it in here so it goes round a corner maybe so we could have the kitchen bit the kitchen probably doesn't need to be that big we have the kitchen here but how do we get the how do we get the staff sort of uh, kitchen not the kitchen the staff sort of uh, eating area where's that is that something that we need to unlock it's just here in staff only facilities but that is locked behind employee welfare so you have to get that first so that gives you the faculty lounge and the staff lounge where the teachers and the staff can go that costs three grand to research and then staff only facilities cost another three grand and that gives you access to the staff toilets and the staff cafeteria so we are not going to have staff cafeterias for a little while because that that's just that's very expensive to get them in so do we need to factor that in when we're building all of this stuff and just leave a little gap for a staff cafeteria? I think we might want to do that. But however, I am thinking as well that maybe along here, we could also have the staff room stuff. Maybe that's what we could do. So have let's go to our beloved blueprint tool. I do love a bit of blueprinting. Okay, so if that went like that, do you know what I am thinking? I'm thinking we're just that like that as well. Because that room is, that's a good size. That is a, a six six sort of long room like many of the others the classrooms are five we could put something in there that's good eventually so i think we bring that wall across there that can be a wall we have to move these tables down and stuff so that's fine and we need to put some more stuff in the common area as well so i think that can come up like that maybe we can have corridor going oh no not there no 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 away with you um a corridor going across like that linking down into there because this wall won't be here so we've got a bit here so that could be well, we could split that in half and have eventually when we get there a small staff room that's a bit little for a staff room isn't it that's not very big for a staff room at all unless unless one of those is a staff room and one of those is the faculty lounge maybe that's what we do so maybe we have that but i like the idea of it all being along one big bit okay let's let's rejig let's rejig let's rethink that so um destroy that bit there away with you blueprintings wall outline 
come down to here. So maybe, oh no, no, not that. No, get rid of that entirely. Away and you away. So how about we have a room here. So faculty lounge could be, I can't remember how big they need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say, that one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say they're about, do you know what? That's actually not a bad size to fit a big number of the teachers. Maybe let's make them seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So have that as a staff room or a faculty lounge and that one as the other one. Then that could come up like that and across the top. And then maybe that could be, that could come down to here. Could we have that somehow open? So I think maybe the cafeteria could go up here. So take that wall down just there which will be fine. So yeah, that's still gonna come across like that. So then have a cafeteria bit in here somewhere. Because we're gonna need to build this first. This is just planning. This is just planning in advance because that's not gonna be in for a long time because it's really expensive. So I think, do we bring down that to there and then move that around to so have access to that. So a corridor can come in here and then this bit here could be where the food stuff can happen. That can be where the kitchen could be. So the kitchen could say, go just there or something. So the kitchen could be here. And, and yeah, that works quite well with the delivery. So we could put a path that goes up the outside into the kitchen here. So they don't walk through the school with all of the stuff. They've got a quick access into the kitchen and this could be the cafeteria. Yes, I think that might work possibly, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it could possibly maybe work. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, is that big enough? I think for the amount of students we've got, I mean, they take, what is it, eight to a table. And the tables were, object tab lines, um, the tables were, were they that big? I think the tables were that big, I think. So let's just pretend that we've got that many tables into our little cafeteria there. And then we'd need the sort of serving area thing and whatever it is, the little plate thingamajiggers, but that's fine. So that would be 8, 16, 24, what's 24 times 2, 48. How many students have we got? 59, but obviously they're not all going to be lunching at the same time. So at most there's going to be, there's 15 in a class sort of, apart from one of them where they've left. So there'd be a maximum of 30 people. So that would be big enough for the school as it is right now. And let's make the kitchen a tiny bit smaller and try and fit in another table. That might be worth doing. So clear that out, get ourselves another couple of tables. That's another 16 people that this place can hold. Unless we then just make it a bit bigger up that way as well. What if we did that? What if we just said, there we go. It's gonna look like that. So get rid of that wall just there and get the wall outline and go up like that. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be regular. It does not need to have regular shapes. It's fine. We're doing this all sort of weird. So there we go. And then if we then make that, could we do that there? Bring that across like that and have this little bit here. Bring that out like that. Clear this bit open. Get rid of that. That could be the kitchen. That could be where all the serving things are. That might need to be a tiny bit bigger, I suspect. Kitchen might need to be a little bit bigger like that. And then they could have all the serving things up here. So the plate, whatever it is, the plate dispensing thing. You, know, you put your plates away, your plate wash, and then where the food is and all that kind of stuff. Could they go along there like that? That might work. Or we just don't have these two tables. We have a table up here maybe, and then don't have those two tables. That's still a lot of people slotted in. I think we might do that. That might be what we do. It's gonna be relatively costly to do though. It's a it's a big old space. We won't put all the tables in, obviously, but we'll get the kitchen bit in. Um, do you know what? Let's let's start doing some of the, the brick work on it now. So walls, brick, walls. We want a wall going there, wall going up there. Oh, it's really expensive. It's so expensive, <laughs> okay. And down like that. Okay, marvellous, right. Carry on doing that. And then when the day is done, which won't be too long, we'll start moving these things around as well. So we'll move those tables and things around. Um, could we do that now, actually? Could we get that done now? Just dismantle those. That would be quite handy. And then we could get this wall bit sorted and we can make all this look sort of half decent and you know, like it's gonna be. And we only had to wait to the end of the second part before our beloved builders have bricked themselves into a room. <laughs> well done builders. Why don't you build it 
and then go on the outside of the room. So all of them as well. It's not even one of them. It's all of our builders. All five of them have somehow got themselves stuck in here in the sort of you know, proposed cafeteria area. Oh, dear me. Well, it's a good job we can do this, isn't it? We'll demolish that just there because um, because yeah, that's where the cafeteria is going to go. There you go. You are free, <laughs> you fools. There you go. Um, and then, yeah, we need to rejig some of this as well. Oh, yeah, we could put the plate things across this wall. That would work as well. Or tables or whatever. Okay, yeah, that would work. So now we need to get rid of some other bits and bobs. So we need to get rid of that and get rid of that. And then get rid of that bit there and that bit there. We probably can get rid of that bit there to save a tiny bit of money. So you guys all take that apart because it's the end of the day. So this is all fine. So hurry up though because you're going to go home soon. Oh, that's out of reach. <laughs> we need a door. Um, where are they going to put the things? I think we have a door that points. I think we have a door that goes outside. So I think that could be very, very handy indeed. Because then, yeah, we'll put a path down the side of here from the delivery area and they can just walk up the path. So that's quite handy. So how about we put a door there, which is going to be no use now. I get that. Um, and then we'll have a door just there. And that might let them in to remove those bits. And then we'll probably want a door in the middle just there as well, just so they can get out to that top bit if they need to. But I think they've all cleared off home for the day. OK, bye bye. Don't worry about all the work that he's doing. <laughs> You just clear off home. Okay, most of the kids are happy. We have one person sad they couldn't get food. Uh, don't worry, we'll work on that. And another person saying school should be more fun. Okay, well, we'll try and work on the fun aspect. I'm not entirely sure we can do that. But everybody's in. The nurses are in and the teachers are all coming in. Why are the teachers all hanging out in the clinic? The teachers are all hanging out. Well, they're just going to where there's a chair. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out with us chairs. You've got chairs in the classrooms. Go and sit in them. Right, where are our builder folks? I just want to get this sort of outline done. I just want to get this very basic bit done. Put the doors in. Put the doors in, you fools. There we go. Now you can take out those bits. Yay, you've worked it out. Well done. So a door goes in. Okay, lovely. So blueprint. Erase the blueprint around there. So it doesn't look like it's poking through the things. Yeah, that's good. And now... We can build the wall to go to. In fact, do we need? I think we need a wall, actually. I think I was going to say, do we need a wall? But I think we need to, a bit of a separation between the cafeteria and the little common area. So we then go across here, build a wall just there, which is good. Maybe that could just be more common area. Could we not just expand that to be just some more common area? That might be quite nice. Um, zone edit as well. We want to make that smaller do you want to remove that zone while it's paused and then put in the special room put in the common area just here that's fine yeah maybe we just expand the common area over there because it is quite busy it's very very busy maybe that's what we should do okay right fine well there's a common area in right now and they can do various bits and bobs in there there's not a lot to do in there but yeah they can they can sit down they can share the chairs and that is all ready to have food put in there. Put that bit of wall in. Okay, let's just make this common area look slightly less terrible. And then I think we'll call it, but common areas. So we want to get that in. We want that to be open because eventually that's going to be a corridor that comes around this way, which is nice. So can we have then it going maybe like that look? Let's have one there. Yeah, like that. Like that look. That's okay. And then have another one there so another table and chair arrangement chairs 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 and chairs and then a couple of chairs there and a couple of chairs there and do you know what they might need trash bins let's put one just there please and also probably wouldn't do any harm to have one there okay good so we'll get all that stuff in they can work on that we will just clear that little tiny bit of blueprinting around the edge don't want to clear the blueprint of where the tables and stuff are going to go, but we'll clear the rest of it and yeah, clear all of the blueprint from that. OK, there we go. And look, there you go. That looks like sufficient sort of space. Everyone's here. Everyone's sad about your you're dreaming of going home to play on a Game Boy. That's lovely. Jonathan Gall is just hanging out. It's very red of face. Very red of face is Jonathan Gall. Um, but yeah, is that because you're truanting? Is that because you're being naughty? It might be because you're being naughty. You, there's one being naughty. Jeanette Dutton, he's, he's, he's being a naughty person. So there we go. 
So we've got this ready for next time. So we can turn this bit here into our cafeteria. This bit will be, will be the kitchen. Little path going down to here so the deliveries can go straight up, which is lovely. Um, we need to turn these doors into staff doors. We'll do all that next time as well. We need to figure out what we want to do with this room here. Do we actually turn it into an extension of the common room or do we turn it into another room? And then we need to get this stuff in as well. But, um, but yeah, in terms of money, it's looking okay. I mean, we are slightly artificially boosted by the money we got from this. We've still got to put the tables down and build the kitchen and put all of, all of the kitchen things in and hire a load of cooks as well. So yeah, the money will go quick, but when that's done, we get four grand. And with that four grand, we might be able to put some flooring down in some more rooms. <laughs> the luxury of flooring. So there we go. So it's looking pretty good. I think we'll stop for now. But, uh, but yeah, I like that. I mean, we're only on day four. We've only covered, what, three days this time round. And we've only just started this. We've only done two full days. But we've made quite a bit of progress. We've changed the toilets round. We've got a bigger common area. We've got a well, sort of reorganised common area. Um, we've got a clinic in, which is lovely. And we've got this big bit up here, which is to do with uh, the sort of cafeteria stuff, which is very good. And our prestige, 211, which is not that bad. I'm quite happy with that. So, um, yeah, we'll come back next time. And the big thing, we'll be finishing this off up here. Get this done up here. And then maybe, maybe we then start looking at doing some of this. Getting some of the special sort of rooms in rather than going down the lawyering route and all this kind of stuff because yeah we don't need all that now we don't need a lawyer and we don't need a vice principal but get some of the special rooms in so maybe we could go and have ourselves a little field and all that kind of stuff put that over here or what have you start getting some fencing in as well because we want to get some fences in so yeah we'll have a look at that as well but uh, yeah that's all for next time because we shall indeed finish up for the moment hopefully you are still enjoying this i really hope you are i'm loving this <laughs> academia is it, it's it's just a delight to play and it yeah it, it maintains its delightfulness even now even though we're on the third series it is still a heck of a lot of fun so hopefully you are enjoying it if you are then please do leave a like that would be very very lovely indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out in academia school simulator but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops.